Hello and welcome to this new video on SQL. In the last video, we have seen how to filter data by using WHERE clause and all those things which we covered, those were basic scenarios. Let us just move further one step ahead and see how we can combine conditions. So hit Control N for new query. Make sure you're pointing to the target database you wish to use. Let's say select star from, I'll be using same dim product table and uh, I say where color is equal to black. Since it's a text, I'll enclose in single quote. This was our first query that we saw in the last video. And we see color as black. Now let's say I do want data for color black. However, with this, I'm also interested only in getting data for reorder paint for sorry, reorder point where value is 375. So what I do here, I'm saying I do want data for black color. But I want only data where the reorder point value is 375. So what does this mean is I'm stating two conditions and both the conditions should be satisfied. So what I do is here I choose an operator or keyword called as and and I say reorder point is equal to 375. Now as explained in the last video and signifies that when all the conditions are met only those rows will be pulled. So if I hit execute, now I see the count has reduced to 67 rows because in black color, reorder point had another values as well. However, now I see only black and only reorder point value as 375. Ultimately, the row count is reduced to 67. Okay. So ideally, how the where clause works in background if I just take one condition where color is equal to black. So wherever this condition is true, that row will be pulled. And if the condition is false, that row will be excluded from the result output. So similarly, when both the conditions are met for and only and only then you will be able to see that record in the output, else it will not be there. Similarly, you can join and and add a third column or a condition and keep continuing in the same way. Now, let's see a different scenario. Let's say I do want data for black, uh, black but also I want uh, other colors as well. Let us quickly fire a distinct query to see what are colors we have. So select distinct color from a product. And we have already seen the meaning of distinct. What distinct will do is distinct will give me a unique list of all the colors or values in the color column in the dim product table. So let's say I want data for black, red, and white or any combination of a colors basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to fetch data for multiple values so i say select star from the product where color now for this scenario we have two methods so the first method is a shorter one which we'll first see i can use the operator called as in now see the difference i'm not using equal to i'm using instead as in now what does in signify in is used, the in operator is used whenever you want to filter multiple values in a column. Now, how do you use that? Let's see. Open the bracket. If the value is a text, enclose in single quotes. So I say black, comma. Each value should be enclosed in single quotes and separated by comma. Then say red, comma, and then white. You can keep adding below and close the bracket. So what we are saying here is, Select star means give me all the columns or any specific columns that you want. You can specify from the dim product table where color in. We are not using equal to. Remember, when you use equal to, this is for one value, but we want multiple values. So I say where color in if the value is either black or red or white. So what it will do is each, each row, it will check for all of these things. Obviously, it will find only one value. So if any of the one value amongst these three values found, it will return true and that value will be, that row will be fetched. Else all other values, if there are any other values excluding these, three, those rows will be excluded. Let's hit execute and analyze the data. So we have about 200 rows as you can see. And if I scroll down, I can see combination of black, red, okay, maybe, why didn't we see white there? Let us uh, try to do an order by on this. I say order by color. 
so that the data gets sorted. Okay, so we have black, red, and we have white now. The data was not sorted. That's why maybe somewhere it would have been gone on the upside. So this is how you can do filtering on a single column, but with multiple values. Okay. Now there is an alternate way also to do this. That is a bit lengthier way, I would say. Select star from dim product, where color is equal to, you can say, black. Now you can use an operator called as or. And I can say where color is equal to red or color is equal to white. Maybe you could spread this better visibility. And let's first execute this. You see, we have the same number of rows as 200. And also I would like to add an order by clause just to make sure our data is sorted and we can confirm whether or not we are getting all those values. Here we are, color, we have black, then followed by red and finally white. So what does or signify? Or is somewhat uh, different than and. As I explained earlier, and will return you true only when all the conditions are true. But or is different. Or means, let's say, if I only consider this much, only two conditions, just for the sake of understanding the difference between and and or. So when I say where color is equal to black or color is equal to red, so the first condition, if the color is equal to black, the condition becomes true. The second condition is color is equal to red, the condition becomes true. But why are we using or here? So because I'm saying if either one of them is there, that's when the or condition will return true, unlike and. What does and do? And will give you only true when both the conditions are met. Here, it will first check for black. Is it true? Yes. Obviously, in one row, you will have only one value in this scenario. So either you can have black or you can have red or you can have white or something else. That's why I'm not choosing and over here. So this is one distinct difference between and and or. And another thing which you can also remember mostly, mostly uh, you would use and in filter across the columns as we did here, because you want to match both the conditions. An exception uh, for and is a between scenario where we use the same column for uh, uh, filtering between two values. But for or usually what you can do is in same same column, you can say where value is equal to black or value is equal to red or color value is equal to white. So in either if it finds any one of this as true, the end result of or is true. So this is where or is different as compared to and hope that clears the difference between or and and. And you could do many other combinations by doing add or in. So try out these combinations. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.